So if we now know what a major triad is, that root 3, 5 configuration as it would occur in a major scale, the example being C, E, G, a C major chord, we find that if we reverse that situation and put the minor third below and the major third above, we get a minor triad. And an easy way to do that would be to simply flat the middle note, the E, for instance, in the C chord. And now C, E flat, G is a C minor chord. And we could think of the formula or configuration for a minor chord as being a root flat 3 and 5 compared to a major chord root 3, 5. So we would spell C minor C, E flat, G, C to E flat being the minor third one and a half steps because we're only going from D to E flat now, not from D to E when we measure that distance. And then the E flat to G distance turns out now to be two whole steps because from E flat to F is a whole step and from F to G is a whole step. So those are the two most used and most heard types of triad that we have in music. Major third below, minor third above is a major triad, and the opposite, minor third below, major third above is a minor triad. We saw when we harmonized the major scale that there was a third kind of triad that was produced at the seventh note, that would be B, D, F. And that turns out to be two minor thirds. From B to D is a minor third, and from D to F is a minor third. And this is called a diminished triad. And the formula for that would be root flat 3, flat 5, compared to a root 3, 5 triad major chord. So that's what you get out of a major scale. But there is one other possibility. And that would be to take, by the way, that's two minor thirds, one upon the other. The other fourth possibility is to take two major thirds and place one upon the other. This gives us a chord called an augmented chord, because we're augmenting or increasing the distance from the root to the five. We are going to have now root three and sharp five in relation to a major chord. The example in C would be from C to E to G sharp. Those are our three notes in the chord, C to E being a major third and E to G sharp being a major third. So diminished and the augmented chords, while they exist and are used, they are less frequently used than major and minor triads, generally speaking, in music. And that's because they are kind of dissonant sounding. They're not really pleasing to the ear when heard out of context by themselves. Yet, they can be put into a chord sequence that can sound rather interesting if they're used uh, in creative ways.